60 seconds left on the clock. Greetings, people. Hello, hello, hello. And I guess I have to shout out to Panda Man, who was first. Congratulations. And then we have, and then Trouble or Prenderg, who's death like, join me, join me. Dude, I got things to do. Not just yet. But hello and welcome to you and Ninja Extremo, of course. And Trouble has already said, okay. Okay is here and in the chat. Ninja Brew, I'm a Ninja Brew, Lucid is here too, fantastic. All right, so I have to say, first of all, I don't think anyone can appreciate how amazing I feel after months of constant problems with my stream and the quality of my stream, where it either buffers or it streams out at very low resolution. This has been plaguing me I'm not joking for at least four months and I haven't been able to find a solution. A guy helped me on Sunday, uh, not Sunday, today Sunday. A guy helped me on Friday. We sorted out some settings and ever since then, streaming out at 6,000 kilobits per second constantly. It's like blowing my mind. I'm so happy. So, hey, Boo Boos, how's it, broski? How are you? Welcome to... Welcome to the cult. Thanks for coming into the chat. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm casting a whole bunch of stuff and, 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 the, and the schedule has been a bit of a cluster today. It was all kind of organized and then teams couldn't make it and I double booked another slot. It was all crazy. So are we going to be starting off today, hopefully in about seven minutes, <coughs> with a local VS gaming pool game between Mad Cause Bad and Monarch Titans. A best of five pool game there. And then we're going to go immediately after that to a, uh, I think it's a three versus three in the Indie Gaming League. And then immediately after that, a 2v2 in the Indie Gaming League. And then there's like an hour and a half break where, and then I'm going to be doing another one. So it's a bit of a crazy night. Thanks for joining it. Nino's back in the chat. Two days in a row, I get, I get Nino in my chat. The gods, the gods are smiling down on me. Yes, local South Africa, which is fabulous. Uh, and then Ninja Extremo, yes, we're going to have a rematch. But this time you are going to play on South Africa servers because I've been matching up against you on EU. And now I want to see how you do. Oh, dear. Someone's, someone's, a, oh, gosh, I think it's too late. I think it's too late. Someone joined the lobby. I'm going to have to remake this lobby. Um, all right. So, Boo Boo is a little bit of support there for the Titans. So, I've got to tell you about these teams. Local team. One of them is... Oh, uh, yes. Okay. Hold on a second. I need to tell them to... I'm going to remake him. 
Um, so Monarch Gaming are a young team. They're all 19-year-olds around Champ 1, I think. Champ 1, Champ 2, maybe. And then Mad Cause Bad are my people. Mature gamers. All in their 30s uh, with established lives, but finding time to play Rocket League, which makes me Munjo Grande happy. So that's going to be pretty groovy. All right, just remaking this. Lobby is up again. All right, don't join people. Curb your enthusiasm. Let's go 30s indeed, Ninja Brew. And I love the fact that I'm throwing myself in with the with the 30s crowd. Like, yeah, yeah, those are my people. Mid 30s, late 30s. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, these are my guys. These are my guys. So, okay. Hey, Cookie's here. Cookie, I have to tell you a story, but first I first I need to welcome you properly. Now I've got to, now I've got to find where I put that little that little sound bite. There we go. Cookie, welcome. C is for Cookie. That's good enough for me. C is for Cookie. That's good enough for me. Oh, Cookie, Cookie, Cookie starts with C. And Cookie, I've got to tell you a little story. I played that for you the last time you came to chat. And I got a copyright warning the next day. And and so that video, that live stream cannot be played in North Korea or Cuba. And after consideration, I went, I'm okay with that. I will risk being banned in North Korea once again so I can welcome so I can welcome Cookie to the chat. <laughs> yeah, but it's a reality, bro. Hey, Blinky, welcome. What's up? Okie dokie. Okay, so who have we got? We've got in the... So we have the entire Monarch team in the lobby. So now we're waiting for Mad Cause Bad. And then we can get going. All right. So, wow, well, a bunch more people have arrived, which is fabulous. Welcome to all of you. Okay, it looks like we have the entire, both teams in the lobby. So I guess I can go here now. All right, Mad Cause Bad are blue. Monarch Titans are orange. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give them the go ahead and we can rock and roll. All right, I think they're going. Are they going to join up? They're all in the lobby. I think that means they're good to go. Nice and early. This is good. This is going to be helpful to my schedule. All right, let me take the cam off because, well, you know. Uh, and there we go. Okay, so the young, the young, the youngsters against the slightly older ones. And I think from a rank point of view and judging what's happened in, in the BS gaming pool so far, oh my word. Mad cause bad are the underdogs and we see that right now. Von Jazz looking to clear it. Lanza passing it beautifully and Rascal's like, okay, well, I'm not going to take more than one invitation. Boom! one nothing to Monarch Titans. Oh, what a strong kickoff there. Everybody from Mad are rushing back to the post. It's going to hit the crossbar. Oh, Von Jazz doing a better job of trying to effect a clear now, but... My goodness, they're under immediate pressure. But the old, the old gentleman of Madka's Bad had a brief opportunity there. Bloodhound. Oh, doesn't make much of that. Eggnog's going to pick it up. Doodles. Oh, okay. They're a little bit bunched up. Doodles now going to pass. But pass to who? Where's the rest of his teams? No one's there. Jay Solo. Looking, takes a shot, but a fairly easy clear by Eggnog. Taking it down off the ceiling. Bloodhound dropping it in front. Rascal will get there. Pops it high. He's going to need to pick up the corner boost before he does anything with it. And looking very strong are the Monarch Titans. But I have, I have possibly, possibly undeserved faith in Mad Cause Bad. But come on, boys. Just because you've got kids doesn't mean you don't have to be good here. Von Jazz. Popping it high and forward, but they're spending a lot of time pressed pressed up against their own their own goal line. The 30s team is mad cause bad. 
Monarch Titans, Monarch Titans are the youngsters. All 19 years old. I remember being 19. I got a Billy Joel tape amongst other things for my 90s birthday. Doodles is going to shoot and get it in. Lovely stuff. There you go, boys. Nicely done on the wall there to the 50 going beautifully for Von Jazz. Doodles finishing it up and we're one apiece. So the orange team, Monarch Titans, are sort of champ one, possibly champ two as well, there or thereabouts. And I don't know too much about Mad Cause Bad and their ranks, but I think Diamond three-ish. Oh, Von Jazz burning all his boost to whiff the ball high up against the ceiling. And they're under massive pressure, the 19-year-olds not taken kindly to just being scored on. Mad Cause Bad shoring up the goal line, and here they go. Rascal gets a pop, but there's a bit of a double commit in defense. It's a given opportunity. I thought Jay Solo waiting in the middle for the path, which never comes. Von Jazz again. This time he burns the boost, but does get the touch. And now looking to get it out. Oh, Bloodhound's going to pop it. So we got a little bit of the back and forth situation going down. But it does seem that Monarch are the more aggressive. Mad cause bad, taking a little bit more time, being a little bit more deliberate. They got some defensive work to do now. Can Rascal get through? He can't. Jay Solo doing very well to get the block. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're scrambling in front of the goal line. Jay does very well to get a block on Eggnog's shot. But this is nervy for them. There's, there's a lot going on in front of their own net. Doodles off the wall. Nice pass. Von Jazz. Very ambitious aerial to pass it. To have a shot behind him. It doesn't come off. And now they'll have to start again. First by getting it out of their own half. Rascal. Gets a touch. He's got a lot of boost. Can he get a pass in? This looks very dangerous. Doodles whiffs. But Von Jazz somehow gets a touch away from the goal line bloodhound is up blocked by doodles very impressed with mad because bad in their defense it's kind of scrambly and 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 it makes you nervous if you're supporting the team but they're for the most part doing the job doing what they gotta do to get the ball away so i remain hopeful a minute to go are we gonna have overtime and it can take some adjusting because I do think from a rank point of view that Monarch Titans are higher ranked. But it can be a little deceptive sometimes because playing people lower ranked than you, they go for balls you wouldn't expect players to go for. They play it a little differently and it can unsettle your game. And I hope Mad Cuz Bad can take advantage of that. Oh, that's loose in the middle and it's Eggnog that will get onto it. Von Jazz gets a touch and gives his life for a J solo. The frantic clear, but it goes straight up and down, but they've done, again, done enough to get it out of their heart. Oh, JDM, thank you very much. Oh, the shot, J solo gets it past two, man. Monarch Titans players, Eggnog, the touch goes down, not a great clear. J solo's there, banks it and gets it past the last two defenders. And it's mad cause bad who are in the lead. Thanks, JDM. It's been it's been days of sweating and frustration. But finally got all the settings sorted and the stream is looking primo good. I'm very happy. And again, a big shout out to Nub New Bad and okay, but here we are, six seconds to go. And it is mad cause bad that look like they're gonna take the first game. Von Jazz! Looking to get a third goal, which wasn't needed. And it is the boys in blue that take game number one. All right. And we are now going to go to the Forbidden Temple. And I think we should do Forbidden Temple Day. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go. Well played, Mad Cause Bad. The young the young whippersnappers of Monarch Titans gonna need to do a little bit work. A little bit of work to come back, but they are a speedy team, an aggressive team. And I'm pretty sure they're not gonna take this loss lying down. But here we go. Game two, best of five. 
Mr. Mew, welcome. Jamie D. Live, welcome. Carsonal, welcome. Good to have all of you boys here. All right, Rascal with an immediate shot cleared away by Von Jazz, but right back by Bloodhound. Picks up the boost. This is dangerous. Doodles, though, gets there. Oh, but he's demolished on the wall. That'll give them a little bit of space in defense, but it is the Monarchs having to do some defending and take it out. How do they tra transition? Doodles is there. Keeps it in the orange half. Bloodhound, his first touch lets him down, allows Jay Solo to get to get in and get it back to the Monarchs half. So pretty good play here from from Mad Cause Bad. They're doing very well, not not allowing themselves to be bullied around by the Monarch Titans. Nice, Jamie. I appreciate that, bro. Doodles. So the ball so far in the, oh, what's it, just over a minute of this game has spent most of the time in the orange half. Madka's bad being a lot more aggressive and pushing, pushing a lot further up than they did in the first game. And the Titans seeming to struggle a little to find a way through and a way round Madka's bad. But here comes Bloodhound. Oh, nicely cut up by Jay Solo. Now he's only got one to beat. Can he get it past him? This is looking good. Can he finish off with the pass? He gets the boost, but the block is pushed away. And here comes Eggnog. Again, first touch lets him down. Gives possession back to Mad Bad. Rascal looking up in the air to meet it. Jay Solo waits. Oh, what a wonderful read off the post, off the crossbar to get the clear. Doodles is up, puts it down into the orange corner. Everyone from the Titans goes to collect, but it's Bloodhound who will try and get it away. And interesting to see how the Titans are having a real battle on their hands to try and to get it out of their half. The attacks are coming fast and furious. And there Bloodhound was looking to slow it down. But that tactic hasn't worked, hasn't worked immediately, but they'll have another opportunity. Eggnog looks to take control, doesn't work out, but Von Jazz enthusiastically comes diving in, but under the ball, and now the Titans will have an opportunity. Three minutes of the game about to expire, and we're yet to see the first goal. Jay Solo looking for the shot, he whips it! Von Jazz is there, it's up, it's loose, but Rascal will get it away. A little bit panic, a little bit of panic there from the Monarchs, but they're okay for now. The game remains nothing apiece. Von Jazz, cut out by Bloodhound. He spins out on the wall, so he can't get a good pass in, but here comes Doodles. Can he get past Eggnog? No, he can't. But Von Jazz is going to have himself a go. Bangs it down off the ceiling. Eggnog! It's flying toward the net. Doodle should get there, but his clear is not good. Rascal puts it high, down off the crossbar. And again, Jay Solo with those backboard reads doing very well. Awesome ninja! Oh, Rascal finally breaks down the mad because bad defense. Von Jazz goes up to meet it. Doesn't get high enough. And Rascal gets it over all of them into the net and they take a lead. We've been here before with a 1-0 lead. They couldn't hold on the last time. They're going to need to hold on now to level up the series at one apiece. Agreed. Jamie D. Live. Ho oh, ho! Eggnog. Okay, finally. Monarch Titans coming out to play. Rascal pops it up. Von Jazz does well to get there, but the block goes off the backboard and lines it up for Eggnog. 2 nothing, And now the hill gets a little bit steeper for Mad Cause Bad to climb. Jack Nicole, welcome to chat. The Titans now looking like they found their rhythm in the last minute. It's been a very tight game. Almost four minutes without a goal, and now we've had two of them. And they look like they're finding a rhythm. Spending most of the, their attacks are coming forward. 
the the attacking play of the of the, of Mads early on seems to have broken down and they can't get into the monarch titan's half it's been a swing of momentum from one to the other and while mad had the the run of play they weren't able to score and now they're paying for that and can they find two goals in 20 seconds they got to find one now jay solo does indeed wonderful work by von jazz on the sidelines to bring the ball in gets past one does enough to bother rascal who can't get it clear j solo finishes and we have a nervy 18 second finish for the monarch titans i don't know if you're the best ninja but i do know that i have most of the ninjas in my chat eight seconds to go they're looking for an attack this is their last opportunity this is going up. Is there someone there? Yes, there is, but it's cut out by Rascal. The ball will bounce, and we are leveled up as one apiece. Great game. Very even game for most of that. And then the Monarch Titans had a wonderful pair to play where they scored two goals. And even though they did score, Mad because Bad couldn't come back from the two-goal deficit. And now we go to... Neo Tokyo for game number three. Ah, here's an article with Step, <clears throat> step One Pirate FL Studio. The crack version has a way warmer sound than the board version. Step what six, is am I? With a bit rate of what is going on? I'm hearing like a YouTube video somewhere. Where is that? Can anybody else hear that? Someone talking about... Sounds like there's a video. Oh, that is bizarre. Okay, fine. Let's get back to this game. All right. Well, okay. 20 seconds in. Nothing's happened. Ahmed Burkane, welcome to the chat. Rascal. The Monarch Titans, I think they want to they wanna get at. Get in the face of Mad because Bad early enough. Not allow them an opportunity to get in this game. Try and suck the oxygen out of their play early. But a double whiff from either team. Leaves the ball for Ognog. Ignog, he's got no boost. Can he get the pass in? He can't. And now Jay Solo looking to bring in a pass. It is. It's very nice. Oh, the shot up is missed and it's cleared away. Opportunity there. Goes a begging for Mad because Bad. And now they've got to defend. It's gone past all of them. They're rotating back into defense. Doodle's trying to get it out. That's going to go wide. Jay Solo lets it pass by into the corner. But the demo is going to open up attacking opportunity for the Monarchs. Nicely done by Jay Solo who gets the clear and now can he get the pass he gets it in front they're scrambling on the monarch titans jay solo now looking for a shot or a good pass it's across to doodles might have put himself oh the whiff the shot by eggnog he's gonna hit the crossbar he had an open net and we know the open net is one of the greatest challenges in any game of rocket league Uh, apologies, Ninja. The alerts won't work in the scene I'm in at the moment for redemptions. That's my bad. I owe you a Chewy. All right, again, we've had two minutes. No goals. Nice and even on both sides. Monarch Titans looking to push hard. But Mad Cause Bad having none of it. They're like, yeah, we will give as good as we get. And so far, it's working out for them. But they're going to have to find a way through. Struggling to get through the defense. Do they do it now? Bloodhound gets the clear. Eggnog will pick up on the follow. Doodles there. Reads that very nicely. But it is still... They're going to have some time here. Possession given away by both teams. Back and forth. And I think the team that looks to kind of keep possession. And look for a bit more of a controlled play in attack is going to have the best chance here because this back and forth play both teams dealing with it quite easily the catch the control the boom forward the other team catches but now eggnog a mistake in the defense of mad because bad allows eggnog a way through bloodhound 
with the pass off the back wall. Von Jazz sees it, reads it, but reads it incorrectly, and it drops right in front of the net for the eggnog finish. Monarch Titans, one up. Jay Solo, but we've seen Madka's bad do very well when they're behind in the game. So maybe it's what they need. They go behind, then they play well, but just evening up the score is no good. They got to, and they have been in the lead. They did it in game one. They took that game. So we do know they can do it. But having said that, the Monarch Titans have tightened up a little bit in defense and, and Madka's bad struggling to break them down. But they have done it, done it on three occasions. They can do it again. Bloodhound now looking for a pass into the middle. Nice cutout by Jay Solo. It's not on target, but it does put immediate pressure onto the Titans. Uh, you earn Grey Bucks by just watching the stream. Every minute you watch, you earn five Grey Bucks. You, and then once you've got enough, you can gamble. There's all that sort of good stuff. Ah, Red Flash is back. Gambling with 49. This seems to be a strategy there by Red Flash. All right, 55 seconds to go. And so far, I was going to say Monarch Titans are in control of this game. But that might be a bit of a stretch. They certainly... Well, now they're in control because Rascal gets the second for the team. And that should about do it because I... I really believe Mad Kazbad are going to struggle to come back with a two-goal deficit. But nice play and attack. Nice finish from Rascal. And the Titans are now in control of this game. Oh! -ho -ho -ho! Now the Titans not needing to do too much. Just got to run down the clock, see out the last 30 seconds. Then they're on match point for the series. Doodles, though. They are trying to push forward, trying to get their numbers up. But Monarch Titans now reading the game very well, reading the passes, reading the plays, getting in front. And it seems a bit of a scramble now from Mad Bad. Under that time pressure... And just as they did in the last game, in the dying seconds, they score. But they've allowed the Monarch Titans a two-goal lead, so the one goal doesn't matter. But nicely done regardless. Seven seconds. Where do things have happened in this game of Rocket League? But let's see how we go. Four seconds. Doodles. they got to get it forward. They do, but it's going to bounce. Now, Eggnog, he just wants to bring it down. Rascal fakes it onto the ground. And there you go. Monarch Titans take game number three for a two to one game lead. And now they sit on a match point. Mr. Mew, hold on. I need to do a thank you. And I realize I'm in the wrong scene for the thank you. I can't show it. But using my creator code, what a rock star. Thanks very much for that. And now we go to Wasteland Night. For game number four, does it all end here or do we go to Champions Field for a game five? Let's go, Mad Cause Bad. I have faith. Yeah, no worries. Okay, I see. Uh, JDM, I will go check DMs, bro. I'll do it after after the series. Let's go. Good luck with the scrims. Strong start from the Titans. But it is Madka's bad who are chasing the game, chasing the game, chasing the series. This may be the last game. They're going to be looking to push it to game five and maybe cause a bit of an upset by taking down the Monarch Titans. Oh, this is looking dangerous and threatening. Eggnog just can't get there. Jay Solo with the clear, but Rascal with the immediate return. The entire 
mad team though in net and making sure it doesn't get through von jazz pumps it up doodles looking to follow oh ho, ho! he waited for the rebound but he's removed from the field an open net but doodles spawns very very nicely spawns on the right side to get the clear and prevents a monarch titans open net goal peace out ninja catch you later broski Nact is back. I don't know if I would describe it as the sexy Lambo. I don't. I, I'm. I'm still undecided about whether I like it or not. Von Jazz, eggnog with the clear doodles with the touch. Oh, it's going to be awkward. It's it's loose in the middle. Bloodhound goes up. He gets the better of the fifty, and it goes toward net. Rascal, looking to control now. Pops it up. Gets a touch forward, but oh, I was going to say an easy touch for doodles, but it turned out to be a lot more awkward. Than it should have been oh ho, ho, demo in front of the mad net can they make it count eggnog he's got no boost can't get the pass but rascal with the 50 in front and the touchdown is that an own goal it was indeed an own goal i need oh my goodness i have a wonderful effect for an own goal but i didn't load it up here that's that's terrible. That would have been the perfect time to use it. All right. One way or the other, own goal or otherwise, it is the Titans that have the advantage in games and in the score in this game. Uh, Boobers, I believe it is the Dominus hitbox. That's what I've been told. I haven't researched it myself. Armored, you need to add me on Epic. Exclamation Epic will give you my details. Eggnog looking to pass it down off the backboard. He does well! And an outstanding finish by Rascal and not before. Eggnog, after effecting the pass, lands, heads to the corner and demos a mad cause bad player coming back in defense. And now the Monarch Titans looking strong enough to take this game. Boo-boos, are you a Dominus fan? Von Jazz. Off the wall. Come on, you 30-year-olds. You can do it. Got half a game left to make it happen. Jay Solo. Von Jazz gets it past one, but not past the third man of the Titans, who pops it straight back into the blue half. This is now awkward in front. Rascal's up. He shoots. He scores. The Monarch Titans looking stronger and stronger as the series goes on. And this is a tough hill to climb. A tough question to answer for Mad Cause Bad. Bloodhound gets the better of the kickoff. Jay Solo's a bit awkward in defense. Bloodhound gets it in front and... I'm not entirely sure how, but he scores. The mistake there from Jay Solo with the backflip. Bloodhound gets it in. Von Jazz looking to clear it. And the masterful dunk from Bloodhound puts his team four up. The strongest performance by this Monarch team so far. Jay Solo. Rascal is like a wall in front, doesn't let it get past. Eggnog makes sure it doesn't get past the halfway line and the ball remains firmly in the blue side. Bloodhound does just the same. Eggnog is up. He's going to get there fast. Off, first off the back wall. And again, Rascal, an almost carbon copy of goal number two. Eggnog, but the entire team involved. Bloodhound, Eggnog finished off by Rascal. Very good team play. And they are looking tough 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 to play right now oh doodles a little confused on the wall not sure what he should be doing in defense and it's a little understandable there might be a little punch drunk right now von jazz with the air dribble the pass from jay solo of the back world here comes doodles but doesn't get it past rascal they have an opportunity now a minute and 20 left and that hill has become a mountain to climb Shot now from Bloodhound, cut out by Doodles. 
they have it if they have any chance of making this happen they have to score pretty damn quick jay solo can von jazz get there he does but he whiffs it took his eye off the ball at the last second his eyes lit up as he saw the yawning cavern of the orange goal and then he missed Mad cause bad taking game number one and they look pretty promising in that game. Game two for most of it, they look pretty promising, but it's been a tough haul for them ever since their nice cutout from Rascal. Mad cause bad throwing everybody up, trying to get something going, leaving themselves exposed at the back. Eggnog brutally in there after the work from Rascal to pass it into the middle. will finish it off and a great link up between eggnog and rascal they've done it three times this game a deadly combination and 24 seconds to go it looks like a dominating game four is gonna see the monarch titans take the series three to one and deserved winners but nice fighting encouraging fighting from from mad because bad eggnog scoring the seventh which is a little unnecessary and on the border of possibly being a little rude but they score it nonetheless are they going to let one in for the brazil i'll be disappointed if they do never been a fan of that but so far it looks like they're not going to do it they're going to just go and push for an eighth but will jay solo get the one for the brazil anyway for mad because bad he won't the ball no oh, they're trying to keep it up and so his bloodhound passes it across eggnog backs off and hits the ground monarch titans take this game and this series three games to one a dominating performance in this game winning seven goals to nothing but all round a good matchup an enjoyable game of rocket league to watch so ggs to the monarch titans well played to mad because bad and we hope they go from strength to strength here all right and that's it that's it on the local game and now we're going to switch almost immediately to the indie gaming league which is uh this the games i'm going to be casting are european games um <clears throat> okay we go here okay good and who are the teams we got playing tonight if i go all right scoreboard who've we got this is i believe a 3v3 if i haven't got it if i am not mistaken my pleasure lucid excellent jamie i'm very pleased to hear that so we have the victorian raccoons versus nfb coming up this is a tier two game which means it is uh champ three sort of about to cross into champ one so a relatively high level game and the victorian raccoons one have of their two games of the season have won one lost one nfb are undefeated in their two opening games and we're going to get that underway right away i'm just going to let them know all right let's get this lobby set up <clears throat> And we will go back to Manfield Stormy. And make sure we do Europe. Uh, Mr. Mew, can we wait until the end of the next, next series, bro? We pretty much have to go straight into the next series. We're a little bit crushed for time. There may be time after. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I see the left, the opposing captain, no. Uh, name, password. All right, so we're going to get the teams. Let's have a look at their rosters. A 
and I need to get in Discord uh, my co-caster for this next series. Which is, of course, Hot Zen Monster. Uh, let me find the channel. There he is. Have I got him in? We're in, and let's get this through to the stream. Hot Zen Monster, greetings and good evening. What's in? Are you there? Hello. Oh, I see this is not coming through. The sound is not coming through. Don't do this to me now. Voice and video. All right. Well, we're going out, but I'm not getting sound coming through here. Why is that? What's in? Are you there? Maybe it's not me. All right, looks like we got the whole team here. What's in? Are you there? All right, well, I can't, I can't hear him. But while we get going, okay, what can I tell you about? Oh, sorry. So, uh, you are, uh, raccoons blue. All right, fine. So Hot Zen's having his own technical issues. I'm just glad they're not mine. So I'm going to get going. And then as soon as Hot Zen Monster's back in, we will get going. So I, so I can't tell you too much about these teams. I know that the Victorian Raccoons are all German. One of them is 25. We don't know about the others. And then the other team is... They are 19 and 17 year olds. So there you go. That's all I can tell you. The, the level of play is around uh, uh, high champ three, probably into GC. So that sort of level. But we can get going. Let's get the rosters off because I've made that mistake before. Let's get my camera off and let's get going. They were in the lobby, right? Yeah, everyone's here. I've told them to go. No one, no one's playing just yet. Okay, there, there we go. Look at all these grand champion titles. I love it. Let's go. So, worst on air, Gibral and Chop Suey. Bailey, Liam Nichols, Mensu. Let's go. Not sure if these guys will have faced up, f faced each other before. So I'm expecting the first minute or so is going to be, okay, what are these all about? While they go to push forward as much as possible. Dribble looking to follow his shot. Bailey's going to get the clear. Worst on air down in front of the net. It's going to come off the corner of the crossbar and the post. Eric Schroeder, welcome to chat. Names are false. Thanks, Gibral. Now what? James Joyce with a message that got retracted. Okay. Let's go, Commandos. It's howling time. 45 seconds gone. We have no goal. A threat. Worst on air looking to clear. Cut off. Blocked by Mensu. But no deliberate constructing of the plays just yet. Both teams just trying to establish the pace and sort of play of both teams here. Bailey's going to get it over. Chop Suey. Follow up with the shot. It hits the post. Rolls along the goal line. And he gets it in. Chop Suey got caught a little bit in no man's land there. Had to scramble back. Couldn't quite get the read on it as he rushed back to his goal line. And the finish coming in. NFB take the early lead. Take first blood. Ah, James Joyce. Nice. 
Are you different to James D. Live? Jamie D. Live? Is this sounds like the same person with another account? I'm not sure. Liam Nichols. Trying to pop it in front. Another mistake from Chop Suey. Allows Bailey to come screaming in and get his second. Oh, and the team bump. Despite that, they still get through. NFB looking strong. Victorian Raccoons are going to have to sort out their defense. Chop Suey making a... Uh, struggling a little in defense. Flamer, welcome. Liam Nichols now. Can he get the follow? He doesn't get the read on the bounce up. But Mensu's up. It's going to come down. Looking for the double. Doesn't get there. Cleared away by Worst on Air. Chopped away by Bailey. Oh, nice read by Mensu to finish that off. And Bailey all over the field. Scoring two goals. Getting the dunk and the block there. Which a very fortunate bounce up to Mensu. Who's like, thank you very much. I'll take that. Three goals to nothing to NFB. Well, James Joyce, your team looking good so far. Worst on air. Worst on air looking to turn it around. Oh, he's bumped out the way. Mensu, Mensu rudely comes in. Pops him out of the way. But it's still in the orange corner and... It, possibly threatening Liam Nichols now nice high forward clear into the blue corner chop suey gets the boost but he's bumped out the way that allows Bailey to come in looking to get it in front of the goal line worst on air with the immediate clear Liam Nichols now looking very threatening the double comes so close but it is cleared oh chop suey with another whiff a lot of work being done by the Victorian raccoons in defense it's looking a little bit panicky for now, and perhaps they need a bit of time to settle into the game. But they're going to need to do that pretty chop chop. <laughs> Hello, potato. Lots of gamblers in chat, I see. Not everyone has come for the scintillating competitive Rocket League, and that's okay. Just glad to have you on board. Mensu pass into the middle, cut out by Worst on Air, but possession given away unless Chop Suey can do something with this. This looks dangerous. Mensu does very well with an important touch, but here it comes straight back. Bailey with the clear. He's got one to beat. Worst on Air has got defensive work to do in his own corner and not enough boost to do it with. Chop Suey does much better on the touch away from his goal line. Oh, and now with the clear. Now they're going to make something of it. Settle down a little bit. Nice work. Jibril's up with the shot and he gets it in. Much better from the Victorian Raccoons. Pass from Chop Suey. Jibril got up. Read that lovely bottom right corner. They've got one back and they get two more in the remaining 1 minute 25. Oh, he's checking on, checking on my co-casting mate. Checking his sword. Oh, no! Oh, no! Almost the own goal! But they scramble it away. Almost a red-faced moment for the NFB. But they save their blushes for the moment. Oh, Chop Suey. Risky take over his own goal. But they get away with it for now. Worst on air. Looking... Looking to pass to himself off the side wall. Mensu now gets it past one. Jibril's got defensive work to do. He does it well, but it's right back in. In front of the goal. Worst on air is there. They're looking better. Still having to do a lot of defending, but they're doing it better. This bodes well for them for the games going forward. Oh, is this an opportunity? Double commit in defense, but it is touched away. Jibril trying to pass it off the wall, but he misses the... It gets cut out. All right, they're going to survive this. Not much time left, and perhaps NFB have done enough to take game number one. They should have had a fourth there, missed off the crossbar. But they don't need to score a game. Victorian Raccoons having to do all the work. Ten seconds to go, it looks like. Oh, no. Do we count that as an own goal? Bailey getting the hat trick. Worst on there, looking to clear. Bailey does very well to get in front of it. Wins that little 50 and the pass and then uh, let's call it confusion on the goal line but it is a fourth goal for NFB Bailey 
Bailey, Bailey. Bailey definitely the man of this match, doing wonderfully for NFB. But in the latter half, Victorian Raccoons looking a lot more solid in defense and when they were going forward. And they're going to have to bring that settled level of play into game number two because it is... Oh, I haven't changed the game names. I need to change that. That's my bad. So let's go team settings. So it's Victorian Raccoons and NFB. And now we go to, oh, they want us to skip. Oh, I'm going to have a second game actually in Manfield because somebody lags in, somebody lags in the temple. So we're not going to go to the temple. All right. So NFB, take game number one. And here we go. Game number two. I just need to check on the instructions here for... Okay, fine. That's the next one. Okay, we're good. Bonzo, don't be sorry. Never apologize. You are here and that's all that matters. James PFC. Is this the same James with yet another account? Or is this a different James now? All right, early on, Bailey getting it forward. Chop Suey. Nice touch, but cut out equally nicely by Liam Nichols. Gibral with the clear all the way to the orange corner. Bailey pops it over one. Can't get on the end of it. Chop Suey's going to bring that in. It's looking a little threatening. Mensu. Easy clear from Gibral. Nice booming clear forward. Will give him a chance. He's followed that all the way up. Cut out by Bailey. Same person. Okay, cool. I didn't. I didn't think there could be that many Jameses around. Fifty seconds in, we are still zero zero. But early pressure, most of it coming from NFB. The demo in front doesn't result in a goal. And there was a little bit of a nervy moment there for the raccoons, but they're okay for now. Chop Suey with a shot. Liam Nichols with a save. And now he's following it out. He's off the wall. The one touch, two touch, three touch. The double commit in defense does enough to affect the save and not get them into pos enough positioning trouble where they concede. Cut out by Chop Suey. Victorian Raccoons doing most of the defensive work because most of the attacking work is coming from NFB. But here they come. Chop Suey gets a touch, but Mensu gets in the way. Liam Nichols! It took my eye off the play for just a second. Liam Nichols that bounced nicely for him, jumped up to meet it and found an unguarded Victorian Raccoons net. So now once again, it is the Raccoons chasing the play. Wustonair. Mensu looking to bring it in front. Liam Nichols! He should have had his second. He whips it at the last and prevents the Raccoons from going too behind. Chop Suey now with the air dribble. The net's open. Can Wustone get there? He does, but Mensu with a great read. There's been a demo in front of the orange net, but they can't score. And on the counter, as fast as you like, Gibral passing it off the back wall. Chop Suey ambitiously going in from the side. The clear out. Mensu with the long distance shot banging in at 128 k's an hour gets the second for NFB well I'm not sure what answer oh my goodness almost a third for NFB I'm not sure what answer the Victorian raccoons are gonna have for this relentless aggressive play from NFB. Another shot saved by Wuston Air, but it's still in front of their net. They've got to get it out. They were looking solid in the last half, the last little bit of the last game, but now they're just having to face attack after attack. And so far it's okay, but eventually we know 
that this will wear you down as it does. Liam Nickel does now get his second, the third for NFB. The panic setting in, setting in fatally. Was Wustonair bumped out of the way? He might well have been. But you run out of boost and the panic's levels rise. And the mounting pressure eventually pays off for NFB. And they're in a commanding three to nothing lead. Oh, ho, ho, ho. but Chopsui getting in on the action. Jibral high off the wall, touches down off the ceiling. Liam Nichols getting up, but Chopsui gets the better read, the better touch, and the goal. All right, two in it. They can make up a two goal deficit. They have the time. We need more of what we've just seen. Indeed, okay, so far they're looking very strong and very hard to beat. And you know what? They took a deficit or they took it. They conceded a goal. Mensu now passing it from the side wall off the back wall. Liam Nichols with a wonderful read. And Liam Nichols this game doing the work Bailey was doing in game number one. Gets the hat trick and reestablishes the three goal lead. Emil Penner, welcome back. Good to see you again. Bailey, down off the ceiling, but Chop Suey stands firm. Wuston Air looking to bang it forward, but it gives away possession. And now they have to rebuild their attack. Oh, Gibral going for the intercept. Oh my goodness, Liam Nichols. What did he take between games? His fourth goal from his own corner gets it past one boom gets it past the second the third can't get back in time Liam Nichols putting his team 5-1 in front uh, Hot Zen had technical issues Bonzo his microphone stopped working so he's restarting everything I was just glad that for once it wasn't my technical problem so I'm hoping we'll get him back into chat soonest Gibral now trying to get something going for the Victorian Raccoons. They must be a little punch drunk with all of these goals going past. Ah, gotcha. Uh, Bonzo, I'm going to very politely decline for now. Down in front by Liam Nichols. No one there from NFB to finish it off. But really at this point, there's not much work much more work they need to do other than a bit of defending to keep the Victorian Raccoons out of it who are looking to have been fairly outplayed this game. NFB very strong and despite the, the territorial pressure that Victorian Raccoons are applying they aren't scoring. I take it back. Jibril doing very well on the pass there. Chop Suey gets it down in front. And Jibril just carries on his momentum, which takes him to the ball. And he pops it into the net. Only three goals behind now. 26 seconds. Can it be done? Of course it can be done. But it's one hell of a job to get done. Eric! Eric Schroeder, when did you become such a gambler? 10 seconds to go. NFB firmly in control of this game. And now firmly in control of the series. Two games to nothing. As the clock runs down to zero. Will they get the six? They won't. But they didn't need to. Oh, and I've called them CFB. I'm doing really well here. All right. That's a second win for Orange. Let's go back to team settings. And change that to NFB. All right, third time lucky. Third time's the charm. Okay, I'm going to go now to Neo Tokyo, which is our game three map. Let's go. <laughs> Eric's trying to get to, and what are you going to do with those thousand gray bucks? Haven't seen the return of Hot Zen just yet, but one is hopeful that I will see him. Mm. 
Game number three, away they go. Do or die game for the Victorian Raccoons. But as it stands now, NFB looking like they're going to maintain their 100% win record in the league. Ah, saving it up for a rainy day, are you, Eric? Rage Fully Ryan, welcome to the chat. And it, an immediate gambler. All right, first 30 seconds, no real action yet, no goals. But it is Victorian Raccoons trying to find a way through an impressive looking NFB team. Hey, mother! Mother, welcome back. It's been an age. Good to see you, my brother. Well, I have to say, my brother who's actually mother. Here come NFB. Gibral as they've done all series struggling to keep it out of their half and floats dangerously across the post but doesn't go in but Liam Nichols picking up where he left off in his very impressive game two will score Liam Nichols starting off the play there Bailey with the pass Liam Nicholas finishes it I've, I've been calling him Liam, Liam Nichols and I do apologize it's Lee, Liam Nicholas Same, same, but different. All the work now to be done by the Victorian Raccoons. And I don't know. They've got to change up the way they play. And there we see an almost pointless demo in front of the goal line. The ball was nowhere near there. And now Gibral scrambling back after the demo to get some defensive work done, which they do for now. Oh, Liam Nicholas with a brutal demo. Make sure that it, that any attempted attack by the Victorian Raccoons is immediately thwarted. Bailey with the clear over his net. Gibral bringing it right back in. Down off the backboard. Chopsu is there with a very soft shot. And Liam Nicholas has no problem getting it away. Uh, mother, I did. I already cast that game. It was between the Monarch Titans and Mad Cause Bad. That was the first game I cast tonight. Rage fully Ryan, you just do exclamation gamble and how many grey bucks you're risking. But first you do have to do exclamation points to see how many points you've got if you've got any grey bucks to gamble. In the meantime here, this game kind of kind of idling along. Oh, there we go. Costa's curse, I was saying, was kind of idling along with NFB in front and then suddenly a loose ball finds itself high in the air. Bailey's eyes light up as he rushes to meet it. Bangs at home. 111 Ks an hour and NFB looking unbeatable against the Victorian Raccoons. Oh, Ragefully, Ryan, you have zero grey bucks. But if you watch, if you watch the stream for five minutes, you will have collected, I think, twenty. And then you can start the gambling process. Meantime, and a, a, a brief opportunity for Victorian Raccoons goes a begging, and now they're immediately back on defence. Worst on air, looking for the clear, but Mensu gets it in front. Bailey can't finish, and Worcester, worst on air, gets it out. Can they do something now? Worst on it takes a shot. Bailey can't get the save. They've got one of the two goals they need just to level it up. This is better now. Now they'll feel they're in the game. A one, a one goal game. You're never out of it. Bonzo, no. Uh, Christian Massain. His in-game name, his Rocket League name is Mother. So, so not really my mother. My mother doesn't talk to me anymore. It's a long, complicated story. Chopsumi with the pass in front. Bailey's having none of it. Gets in front, gets the clear, but still some pressure now from the Victorian Raccoons. Just keep watching the stream, Ryan. You'll, you'll, the points will come. Yeah, I'll get you started. Mensu. One minute to go, just over. It is the Victorian Raccoons chasing the game. They're behind, but they only need to score one to level it up.
Chop Suey trying to boom it forward. Jibril's going to have another go at it. Mensu with the intercept. And now Bailey with the pass onto the back wall. Mensu goes up, gets a shot, dribble with the save. And it is, of course, the obvious thing to say that they cannot concede again if the Victorian Raccoons are going to have any chance. They've got 35 seconds to find a way to get past NFB once again. And that's just to level it up and possibly take it to overtime. Oh, I don't know why that failed. Uh, Ryan, apologies for that. I'll sort out afterward. Liam Nicholas in front. Mensu doesn't get a powerful shot off, but it's still very dangerous. The Victorian Raccoons scrambling. 10 seconds. This is going to be probably their last chance to attack. Wustone has no boost. Gets it to Chop Suey. Gets past one. Looking to get it in front of the net. He needs one more touch. Jibrils up. Mensu gets there. Wustone. Can he bring it back in? No, he can't. It's going to bounce. And NFB take it in a sweep very very well played by nfb they maintain they keep their 100 percent winning record intact the victorian raccoons had moments within that series but they were dominated for the most part so they'll take their learnings and hopefully come back strong in their next outing but that'll be that for the second series of the night our third series coming up in just 20 minutes so let me get to chat and see what i can uh, see what i've missed there okay so i think i know why i couldn't give right ryan check your points again you've probably got some points you can gamble with and then once you've accumulated gray bucks there's a store where you can redeem items in that store for example, you can redeem a shot. I will be right back. You see, I didn't think anyone was going to redeem the shot. Now I have to drink. One moment, I'll be right back. Thanks for your patience. I'm back. The shot of choice tonight is, again, Malibu. Am I working now? Did Ryan check his points again? There you go. You got five gray bucks. Now you can exclamation gamble five. Hmm. Bonzo, did you not spend all your points? Testing, one, two. <laughs> you can't gamble all. You can gamble a maximum of 50. Otherwise, we're just filled with gamblers. James, how many accounts do you have? It seems like a lot of them. All right, I need a setup for the next game. And what's news from Hot Zen? Uh, can you hear me? I'm here in the channel. Excellent. I'm He's got his stuff sorted. <clears throat> I'm seeing something happening. Are you hearing me? Okie koki. So. Ah, I got you. Okay. Did you do exclamation points? Exclamation GB, Bonzo. Check that. Uh oh, wait a minute. That's the wrong thing. Take a minute, see. Did you ever find your swim trunks in the. Where were they? Oh, the there's bathroom, the music yeah. back on. You got so around here now? Doesn't sound like a like it's very quiet in here. Why am I not hearing the music? Can you hear music on stream? Can you hear music on stream? Yes. This thing turned off. What is going on then, eh? All right, now I'm having my own audio issues because I can't hear anything through my earphones.
Well, that's a little worrying. But you can hear stuff on stream, right? Oh, you can hear you can hear Hot Zen. I can't hear anything. <laughs> Hot Zen, yes. I think your audio problems broke broke my audio. Oh no. Yeah, I know. It's the first time uh, I've ever had a problem. Thank you. 